Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm doing a very simple recipe. Squeaky, this one is for you. Today I'm making tuna salad. Believe it or not, I love tuna salad. I can be a very picky eater. And one thing you'll find out about my channel, we're very simple. I cook very simple and easy things in the kitchen. I really don't do any exquisite cooking. Um, we're just simple. So, Squeaky asked about my tuna salad recipe. And this is the way my mom used to make it. It is very, very easy to make. Now, I will say that I'm trying to fix this, this today on a more healthier side. So, a couple of things that I'm going to substitute. Um, you can always use the regular ingredients, okay? For example, um, you have to use mayonnaise when, at least I do when I'm fixing tuna salad. So, instead of me doing the regular mayonnaise, I'm going to do light mayonnaise. But by all means, you can use regular mayonnaise. In addition to that, I'm using sweet salad cubes. I am using chunk light tuna and I always purchase the tuna that is in water. I never ever purchase tuna that's in oil. And then instead of me using, I like it a little sweet, I have some regular sugar here. Here I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use equal just to make it a little bit healthier. And then, sometimes I use real celery, the fresh celery, but today I'm going to use celery seed. I don't like, like for example, I don't just, I can't just eat celery by itself. Like you know how you take celery and dip it in peanut butter or ranch dressing? I don't eat celery like that. So. When I do use celery, I chop it up really, really fine because I don't want to bite down into chunks of celery. So when I use celery seed, it gives me just that hint of celery without having to use the celery stalk. So this is what I'm using today. And then I have four eggs that I've already boiled and I've already peeled and that's what's here. And what I usually do is I usually use one egg per can. So it's four cans here. You'll see that when I open it. And I usually, again, use one egg per can. And that's because I like eggs by any means. If you do not like this much egg, you can use two eggs. Eggs, you can use one egg. Whatever tickles your fancy is what you can use. But as a rule of thumb for me, I usually do one egg per can. Now, I am very particular when it comes to fixing my tuna salad. And what I'm getting ready to do is when I um, I'm gonna open these these cans, and of course I have thoroughly washed my hands, and I'm also going to thoroughly wipe off the top of these cans. So what I do when I open these cans, um, I drain them. Even though they're packed in water, I like my tuna to be very, very dry when I start mixing up the other ingredients. So I'm getting ready to show you exactly what I do to squeeze, and I mean literally squeeze, all of the water out of my tuna before I start mixing it up. can opener. Should have already had that. And I'm 
going to be adding my tuna to this bowl. So let me get it ready. And I started talking about how I drained my tuna cans before I started mixing up my tuna. And I failed to mention I also will add a little bit of salt and pepper to my tuna salad as well. Okay. So the first thing that I do is pour off some of that water as much as I can and then I literally get the tuna in my hand and I squeeze out the remaining water. Again, my hands have been thoroughly washed. And I've also taken off my thumb rings. I usually keep rings on my thumb all the time. But when I cook certain things, I have to take them off. So this is what I do. And I squeeze all of that water out of there. And I have my little bowl here. I'm going to sit it in, okay? And I have to be careful when I squeeze to make sure that the tuna doesn't seep between my fingers. So I squeeze a little bit and release. And this is how I do each can. And this is really the longest part of me fixing my tuna. It takes me the longest amount of time to do this right here. And I'm sure it's perfectly fine for those of you who want to eat your tuna and don't drain it. But I just, I've just always done this and I don't, I don't want, I want the base of my tuna salad to start off dry. I don't like soppy tuna. And with me adding the mayonnaise, I just feel like if I leave that water in there, it's going to make it soppy. Now, I don't know that my mom did all this. I think my mom just kind of drained off what she could. I don't recall her squeezing, being all extra like me and doing the most. How about that? <laughs> but I just, I just don't like, I don't like all that extra water. You see how dry it gets when I do that? That's the way I like it. Now that I've finished draining my tuna, this is how it looks once I get it all drained. And I don't usually measure when I make my tuna salad, so I'm 
going to try my best to get some measurements while I'm doing this, okay? So I'm just going to um, like when I'm using my tablespoon, I'll probably just put it add whatever I'm getting to my measuring cup. That way I can kind of at least try my best to give you some kind of measurements with this recipe or how I do my tuna salad. As it pertains to some of the ingredients, just like the, um, the sweet cubes. Maybe you don't like the sweet cubes. Maybe that's too chunky. You can always use the relish, the sweet relish, and that's those little chunks of pickles are a lot finer than the sweet cubes. You can also add onions to, I know some people that add onions to their tuna salad, but I don't, I don't do that. Like I said, I keep my recipe really simple. And as for my mom, I my mom never did the celery seed. She would do the fresh celery stalk. And because my dude, number one, and I, we really like eggs, I'm not going to chop these up anymore. I really like the taste of the chunky egg. Some people don't like their eggs that chunky. And if you are that person, then, of course, you can always chop your eggs up more. And then, by the same token, this may be too much egg for somebody. But, hey, when I tell you, we love eggs around here. So, it's not too much for us. Okay. Now. From here, I'm going to go on and just put me some pepper in here. Just pepper it to taste. Just a few little sprinkles of salt, just a little bit. And with my celery seed, let's see. I don't even I don't even need not quite a fourth of a teaspoon. So this will probably be like in the same category as a salt and pepper. Just do a little bit to because I think celery seed can be a little strong too. That's just my opinion. So that wasn't quite a fourth of a teaspoon. And once I taste it, if I feel like I need more, I can always add more. Now for my sweet cubes, let's see, I'm going to look and see what, you see what a fourth of a cup looks like. And when I do the sweet cubes, I like the juice and everything, so I don't try to drain that juice off. So that's about that's about a fourth of a cup of sweet cubes. And then for the mayonnaise, you have to be careful when you're adding the mayonnaise because once you get it in there, you cannot take it out. So, I'm going to start with a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. 
So we did four for a cup of sweet cubes and four for a cup of mayonnaise. That kind of gives you ballpark. I'm going to go in and put my two little packs of equal in here. And then we stir. Okay, and based on what I'm feeling, I can already tell I need some more mayo. And I'm not going to try to measure that. I'm going to leave that to a fourth of a cup. And then from there, based on how much mayo you like, you know, the consistency that you want your tuna, then you can add from there. But if you do the four cans, at least start with a fourth of a cup. I could have very well started off with a half a cup of mayonnaise. Again, I was just trying not to put too much, and I've never measured this before. I'm trying my best to give y'all some measurements. So yes, I could have started with a half a cup of mayonnaise. So that's a fourth a cup of sweet cubes, and then half a cup of mayonnaise. Just that quick, I am ready to taste it to see. What we're tasting like. I want a little more sweet cubes. sprinkle of celery. And you guys, that's just, that's what you have to do when you're, although we're not cooking this, but you know, when you're in the kitchen, you have to taste stuff. And then once you, once it tastes the way you want it to taste, then you're good. Everybody's palate is different. So, you know, some of you again may think this is too sweet or you may not want this much mayonnaise, but at least I kind of squeaky. Hopefully I was able to kind of give you a base somewhere to start um, with the tuna. Me trying to give measurements. Okay. So the only thing I need now is a little more sugar. <laughs> Me grab two more of my little packets of equal.
two more packets. And we like our tuna cold, so this is going to have to sit in the refrigerator for a little bit before we're ready to eat it. Let's see. Mm-hmm. That's it. That is it. So truth be told, we probably had after I added everything back in there, or kept adding ingredients, we probably had at least um, at least a half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sweet cubes. Y'all, it is storming. Ooh, it's starting to storm. Thunder. Hey, let me get this camera turned off. Y'all know the old folks say you need to sit down somewhere and be quiet while the Lord doing his work. Here I am trying to do a video. I hear the rain hitting the wonder. Okay. Can y'all see that rain hitting the window? We're going to top it off with the black pepper. Isn't that pretty? And now we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And after it chills, I have these beautiful bakery buns. And I'm going to make us some tuna salad sandwiches. Oh, man. I know. Oh, please just stop the temptation. <laughs> Y'all, he laughing at me. I told him I probably wasn't going to eat no tuna. Sandwich, because I've been terrible, y'all. This what I, you need to be eating right I fixed some brownies to take to work to my to my work family. And I said, I've been eating brownies, and he just laughed. Hopefully this tuna going to get me back on track yes. tomorrow. Yes. You going to make your tuna sandwich? No, not right now. I'm just okay. going to taste yours. I, don't I, taste mine. I don't think Let I me make eat. yours, and you ain't got to no. taste mine. You can oh, eat yours. stop being so stingy. It's just going to be a little bite. Take your word for it, but I'm gonna tell you. Let me now. set the time and see you won't burn this bread. I don't burn my bread. That's your mom. Your mom that burned off the bread. Yeah. But they close the oven. See you guys burn. See y'all guys burn. Close the oven door, honey. Then the next thing you hear is ch <laughs> ch right. scraping scrape, off all the scrape off the burn, the burn, baby. Scrape off the burn. I got this, people. I'm telling you. And one one thing I am, I am a. Sandwich aficionado. I know how to make a sandwich. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to make it a little healthier. Um and he's gonna add more mayonnaise to his sandwich. Yes. And lettuce. See, I don't eat mine with lettuce. Yes. I don't I don't eat mine with lettuce. You don't? No. Why didn't you close the why are you standing here with the oven door open? Babe? I'm better. Stop. Why you take your hands like cave woman? Well, you knock the bread off. You don't have to. It's, so, just grab the bread. Just give me one second, everybody. There you go. Stop the timer, baby. Well, that'll do. 
Okay, guys, so this is the way you do this. All right, what we gonna do is, I mean, some everybody like they stuff certain ways. I ate my tuna with um, mayonnaise. You say, well, mayonnaise already in it. Well, mayonnaise gonna be in it and on it. So, that's what we gonna do. I just want me a little bit of mayonnaise and my tuna and um, some um, rabbit food, lettuce, and we're good. We're good. Just, just work with me, people. Just work with me. Just work with me. It's been a long day for me. I'm retiring at the end of the day. Okay, now. Now, here we go. Here we go. Guys, as I've told you guys before, the only thing that makes a great sandwich is great ingredients. You gotta have a good bread. Let's see now. This is my tuna. Oh, ain't that pretty? It always is. Well, thank you. Okay, so the spoon will take me a... Now, I... Look, I ain't on no kind of diet or nobody's diet, so don't ask me to be. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, I'm going to eat. People give you a tuna sandwich and give you a little bit of... I want a Whopper tuna sandwich. You, you know the tuna on there. I need to know a fish died on this plate right here. <laughs> there. See there? All right. You think you got enough tuna on there? Well, you think that I, I'm going to eat enough for it. All right, guys, so there goes my tuna. And the next thing is put me some lettuce on here. This is your rabbit food. This is your, your serving of um, vegetables. Somebody, I didn't realize you were doing two. I thought I just took enough lettuce for one sandwich. Is well, that's that okay. It don't, it don't even really even matter. It don't really even matter. And there you go. Now, guys, so that looks scrumptious. Scrumptious? Yeah, scrumptious. That's it. No, that's it. it. You just greedy. Just some big, two big old, two big old sandwiches. Took a bite out of one. Huh? I don't want lettuce on mine. These are mine. <laughs> that's why I kept trying to tell you these, these mine. I know, honey, but I can't eat a whole sandwich. Well, right then you now. get you your are own. So stingy. Get your own. I eat the other half. So stingy when you want to be. Let me move that lettuce out the way. I don't want that. I want lettuce. Why are you eating her? Good. You took a whole bite like a dinosaur. <laughs> Why you have to be a dinosaur? That's all right. That's why I wanted you to fix your own lookout bottle. Also wrapped uh, something that's on. A what? A, a dinosaur. A that is not nice. Hey, look at your. Who is that? A dinosaur? Yeah. Oh, that's not nice. 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 Oh, that's Well, we getting ready to eat. So, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Push the nosy. Shake some. Shake some. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye! I gotta take